Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are here with an update of Planet Zoo, something we are getting with a free update in a few weeks, I guess, because this says over the next few weeks, uh, it's about animal talks, and this is actually really interesting. So please do pay close attention to what we're going to talk about, because this is really interesting. Hello, zookeepers. Over the next few weeks, we will be revealing what we have been working on since our Planet Zoo Australia pack. We can't wait for you all to see. Today, we wanted to take the opportunity to tell you about a new feature the team has been working on, which we will be will be added into the base game of Planet Zoo for free, and we think you all be excited for Animal Talks. Animal Talks are stable activities in zoos where educators will share insight into their animals housed at their zoos and share more about conservation efforts. Like in real life, we wanted these Animal Talks to benefit both your guests and your zoos. Let's go into detail about how they work so you can get an idea of how to use them in Planet Zoo. So these, uh, this is the educator and this looks kind of interesting. Uh, let, let's just go further before we talk about the pictures. When you'd like to set up an area for a talk to happen, you will need to place an animal talk point. These points need to be placed near habitat barrier or an exhibit to work correctly. They function similar to other education items and need to be a range of what they are educating the guests about. Make sure you provide enough space on the path for the animal talk as once guests join to spectate, they can take up a fair bit of room on the path. But who can blame them? Who wouldn't be excited to learn more about the wonderful animals you have in your zoo? Animal talks work a similar way to educational boards, where you need to set them up to a certain type of animal. Once you've set up the area, hire an educator, a new type of staff, who will be hosting the animal talks. You can schedule the talks, and if you do it well, you can have one educator take care of multiple tasks throughout a year. After guests gather around to watch the animal talk, the educator will, will commence the session. You'll see some animals also walk over to see what all the commotion is about, and if you're lucky, sometimes to join in. If you set the animal talk point up so that the back of it is towards the habitat and there are no obstructions such as water, then the educator may also throw in food in the habitat during the talk. Depending on the animal species, this will not be available for every animal. Oh my freaking gosh, I'm just... This was the point where I was like... At first I was like, uh, I don't think... I, I think I'm just gonna share this on my community wall. And this was the point where I was like, okay lady, it's time to start recording. I didn't even read any further. This is something I have been asking for since the start when we had the beta. I remember that I was building the Gario habitat in my mainland zoo and I was like really pretending that there was an area where the keepers could throw in food into the habitat. And I just really love it that they are going to add this into the game. It's just super amazing. I really, really love this. With the animal talks comes a new information panel. Each talk can be set up for one habitat or exhibit and one species of animal. Through this panel, you will be able to enable and disable animal talk points, pick an animal species for the talk, pick a month to schedule the talk. It will take place annually. Assign an educator to the animal talk point. Assign the animal talk to your work zone. Select music which will play while the talk is not in use. See if your placement of the animal talk point will allow your educator to throw food in. Okay, that is really interesting. There is also a new management tab for animal talks. In this tab, you can see a list of animal talks, the location of the animal talk points, habitat or exhibit talk point type, Assign habitat, assign animal species, a talk can only be for one species, a month the talk is scheduled. Work zone assigned yes or no. Look at this, look at this picture, this is so cool, isn't it? I really am excited about this new feature. I think they could have added this just like a bin, just put it down and a staff member just do, does a talk. But adding those extra features like throwing in food, Having also the animals really react to the staff member, I think it's it's a great addition. I'm super curious to hear more about this. Okay, let's continue. There are a few things to keep in mind for the animal talks. Educator with higher training will increase the amount of happiness and education that the guests receive, which will benefit your zoo through donations. 
and animal talk will be cancelled if the educator does not turn up with the prep period, which is used to gather around guest or the talk duration. Be mindful of your scheduling, as while one educator can do several talks, you need to carefully plan to prevent your talks from being cancelled. An animal talk point will disable if their habitat or animal is invalid, so keep an eye on them while you move around your animals in your habitat. We hope you've enjoyed learning about animal talks and we'll be revealing when you can get your hands on them in game in just a few weeks. We can't wait to show you what else we've been working on and we're looking forward to ending this year on a high note with you all. Make sure to stay tuned to our official channels for any news and announcements. Hi! In all honesty, I think this is going to be really a great free update edition. I'm really looking forward to this. This is something like really gameplay wise that is going to change. It's not super big, of course, so it's not going to give you like hours of gameplay time, but it is something game changing and I, I really do love it. And it looks really incredible. I'm really excited to start using this. I think this is really something special, adding a little bit more realism into the game. And since they are saying like, um, in just a few weeks, we are now at the 26th of November. Um, I've been saying it also during my live streams. I am thinking that either on the 1st of December or the 8th of December, we will see an announcement. If they say about a few weeks, it might be that we hear more about a potential DLC on the 8th of December and then it will drop on the 15th of December. That is my guess. I obviously don't have inside information on that, but that is my guess because obviously Frontier is also going on a Christmas holiday for two weeks. So the 15th of December is basically the latest date before they are going on a holiday and they will be able to fix bugs and those kind of things. So yeah, I definitely, I think, I think the 8th of December an announcement and the 15th of December to drop is probably the latest, but it could potentially be also already the 8th of December that a drop or of a DLC will be and then the announcement on the 1st of December. But this, since they talk about a few weeks, I don't know, I might, uh, it might be a week later. So, but we will have to see. There is something bubbling under the surface finally. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be something we have been looking forward to, we have been asking for. I am um, at least really pleasantly surprised about these new animal talks. I really am pleasantly surprised about it. Really excited for it. I'm really excited to hear more of what maybe other things in a free update will be and uh, yeah of course we are excited also for a new DLC and some new animals and I can only hope it's going to be a very very good one just one thing I wanted to check I wanted to see if there's anything new on these screenshots I don't really think so I think they really <laughs> hit away everything I, I don't really see I don't know I'm not really sure what this is it looks like some kind of roof, but I can't really tell if it's something new. It's really hard to see. And this one looks like mostly just Asian roof pieces and plants we already have in the game. So I don't think there is anything new or spectacular in these screenshots other than the animal talks. But I think this is a great feature. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this edition that is going to be in a free update very soon to Planet 2. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. If you want to see a lot of Planet Zoo content, you are on the right place. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I just really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.